All right. <clears throat> it is Dire Channel o'clock. Or Cold Channel, if we're forced into that. But, uh, yeah. So, I think Cod Raciel had a good point. Um, Dire Channel can be decent with a sweeper. It's definitely an option. Basically sweep out all the the little stuff and then have Dire Channel kill the big stuff. I do think it still presents an issue for Divinity though. <clears throat> I think either a sweeper or just good flat AoE would kind of serve that purpose equally. So both are on the menu, either sweeper or flat AoE, but I'd like also to kind of have some big follow-up oomph from uh, some spells to kill additional tanks and really protect me if I can't find Multi-Strike. Now Stitchin has some of that oomph already in its kit, but never hurts to have additional. Um, Awoken doesn't really have much of that that isn't super conditional. <clears throat> Uh, Hellhorn has a little bit of it, but not really the exact type I'm looking for. I'm probably leaning most toward Wormkin, because they have Proclamation. On top of just some other pretty good stuff, but particularly pro Proclamation. Proclamation, which is a card I don't really value as high as most, would be pretty good here. So I might do that. Also, the extra damage from Fracture could just help soften some tanks along with the additional stuff that Wormkin provides. Plus, these two clans just kind of work pretty nicely together. And if I can get some inspiration and or incant stuff along with the Dire Channel, that'll be good. And if I get forced into Cold Channel, I'll still make sure I get a Dire Channel episode eventually, but Cold Channel, pretty good with Wormkin. Let's hit it. Cold Channel would probably actually like Echo Breaks, but that is neither here nor there. Sin of Shadow, Seraph the Chaste, um, and Double Exploder. And the starters are interesting. Glacial Seal, though, that is off the beaten path. Definitely, if I go Cold Channel, I'm going to also force myself to use Glacial Seal. But we're still doing Dire Channel if it's offered. It is. God, I really want to do Cold Channel, though, because it's actually already kind of good for Cold Channel. Like, I got a Glacial Seal, I got Shelters, I mean, what more could I want? Oh, I want to do it so bad. But it is a Dire Channel. I mean, it's still okay for Dire Channel. The uh, Glacial Seal actually... Yeah, let's do Dire Channel. Let's do it. We commit to that, and guess what? I'm still going to use the dire, the, the Glacial Seal. I'm still going to do it. We'll take that. <clears throat> now, Dire Channel is significantly weak early. It's, well, it's significantly weak at all stages of the game, but particularly early. That being said, it's still better than Tethys, so we can probably take this. I said it before, and I'll say it again give me a choice between Tethys and Dire Channel, I'd pick Dire Channel every time. I hold to that. Not that I'd be happy about either choice. See, this Mark of Invasion is risky. Quite risky. Very, very risky. I don't think we can take it. It's not that big of a deal. It's just money. Just money. I don't, what, great thing about Wormkin banners, by the way, they don't really need any upgrades. Probably more so than anything else uh, that is around. So what's better? Putting some bite on that guy or getting this in? I think getting this in is better here. So this guy's eventually going to die. Definitely want that dead. <clears throat> Trying to really get this dire channel ready for the boss. Ooh. I 
guess this guy's not going to die unless I fracture him. Well, we don't need to worry about that. We'll just do this. Look at that. Dire channel. Six shards can't even kill one of those. You know what can kill it at four shards? And also doesn't have ten health and also doesn't ember drain you top. And, uh, you know, instead of doing 18 damage uh, at four shards, it does 40 damage, and, or 45 damage, and has 45 health. Oh, that's right, Titan Channel. Just saying. Just saying. Eat up two stacks. Put a meaningless thing on him there. Gotcha. <clears throat> but you know, it's alright. Like I said, still leagues better than Tethys. You give me any variant of Tethys with uh, everything I just had there, and I definitely lose more than three fire health. Maybe. Maybe. Frostbite could get me through, but also Frostbite would just be more risky and not actually have as much upside as Dire Channel. Um, I'm pretty sure we take the Crypt Builder here. Quite certain of it. That is one of those tank killers we're talking about. I think we take the Bounding Echoes over the Shelter. I'll be looking to either get Consume Return on one of the Shelters or Consume Remove on one of the Shelters. Maybe even both, right? But definitely passing up a Bounding Echoes seems silly, especially if we get a good Worm Candy unit here. Most of them are pretty decent here. An Egg, egg would be great, but I'd obviously prefer the Keeper of Echoes or Shard Soul Carver. Uh, is a shitstone. I doubt that's good into anything. Doubt it. Minus two. Alright, we'll take the carver. That is a decent tank. Like, I can actually keep the carver as a unit, which is nice. Could also just put the glacial seal into the carver. You know? <coughs> I don't know how good that is. It's an option. Map kind of sucks. Only three temples. But, uh, yeah. What what would be better than a Glacial Seal if I do actually just stick with the Shard Soul Carver? I mean, we're off the beaten path. Rarely do I use the Carver as a unit and not for its essence. Fuck it. Let's just commit to it now. We're off the beaten path. Let's go. Piercing might be nice. That's 45 shards I gotta deal with. Let's do it. That's big damage right there. Definitely not the large stone. Armor incant would be, oh, beautiful. And multi strike. There we go. There we go. We're getting it going here. We're getting it going. Going and flowing. You gotta respect the, uh, the uh, infusion before even seeing that stuff. You gotta respect that. Let's get rid of a, uh, I don't, I don't need money. Let's go ahead and get rid of a stew right now. We're not going to need stews. We're going to be A-OK -okay on the damage front. I will say we still need an answer to Divinity, but this, there's many answers. We kind of already have an answer softly with, uh, Shelter. Unit Draft I don't really need. I say we just commit to the, what we got now, let's make it work. We know it can win. I mean, I don't know that it can win, but uh, we think it can win. And uh, that's good enough for me. Just thinking is enough. No damage, you say. Fooey, I say. Let's do this for nothing. <laughs> Might as well get a shard. Ah, I see. Is that how it is? Okay, we can guarantee this. Oh, bitch. Still not dead, though, huh? That's gonna hurt. That is indeed going to hurt. Let's do this. Get you guys out. A little bit of that. 
Probably a good thing that I didn't, uh... Take the, uh, trial. Because I'm big brain and smart. That's right. This better? This better. This is better. Aha! You're dead, son. Actually do want two of these instead of another fracture, most likely. Turns out the frostbite does more damage than the fracture, I think. Don't quote me on that. A second crypt builder, and this one's pink. I was kind of hoping for a uh, offering token, not gonna lie. A lot harder to get these to, to hit with the random discard, but still, I think we take it. I guess we take another one of these. It's iffy though. Like the shelter's kind of, kind of pretty good. But let's take this. So another confusion. Um, we're looking for days, so we don't have to rely on shelter. Honestly, I would just rather get days. But we'll see. Um, probably a hellhorn or hell vent could be good. Um, what a hell vent, the crypt builder. Siffy, it's Siffy. It's I mean, if these Forgotten Powers don't hit, like, the turns aren't great. So we're not taking the unit no matter what. I'm committed to what we got. So as a Hellvent, I have a Crypt Builder that pierces, adding five shards. I mean, I'm, I'm probably taking this too. Is that better than random artifact? Because there are great artifacts between these two. I don't know if the Hellvent wins here. It probably does. I'm just really wanting an artifact. I, I think I'm gonna go with the artifact. Eh. I could also get something that's a good Hellvent from this card. Yeah, these. Man. Tough, tough. Mm. Hellvent. Crystal Horde. What to do? What to do? I mean, this could just be useless. This is never going to be useless. I, th I think that we should go this way. Let's check this first. Okay, I see you. I see you. Crypt Builder. Shelter? How does that work? Does it apply the armor to the enemy or me? Or do I just do double crit builder? Pretty sure there's double crit butter, alright. And that is some good damage right there. 60 60 attuned each. Okay, I have a new Hellman target. Do I though? Maybe I don't, I don't know. That's incredibly good. That's getting taken. Sorry, eggs. But not sorry, because honestly, I don't really like eggs. I almost held into the train store. Do I want the Crypt Builder, or do I want this Nexus Spike? Probably, the, probably still the Crypt Builder, right? Alright, 65 shards, let's go. I'm not worried at all. Not worried whatsoever. We got Dire Channel, how could we lose? How could we lose? Literally unlosable. Haha, you got dazed. This is not worth playing right now, so let's YOLO this. Okay, I guess we'll play it now. Never lucky. <clears throat> ha, you tried it again, and guess what? You failed again, son. I believe we wait on that. What say ye? I can kill these guys later. Let's just keep all the shards and incants and stuff up there. Ooh, we should kill that guy though. One. Two. You son of a bitch. Do I take one to the dome? You know what? I have lightstone, uh. Light's gift. I shouldn't be afraid of that. I didn't even need to, like, do anything there, really. My bad. Um. Everybody's dead. 
just incant as much as possible up here, honestly. Unless, eh, we could kill one of them. Easy peasy. Is that thing gonna die? It's. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It might not. It might not. It might hit me for a lot here. It is gonna hit me for a lot. Fuck. Well, whatever. We should win still. Ha. Get got. Oh my gosh, I'm so good at the game. Get frickin' shard so carvered, son. That's a card. I mean, we are off the beaten path, but how crazy can we get when I got a deep offering just staring me in the face right now and I already have three crit builders and a nexus like they can offer. Pretty sure the deep offering is just so obviously the choice here, but again, that Horfrost effigy is pink. <coughs> it also stink. It also stink. Let's let's take the deep offering. Ooh, another shard soul carver. Wish I could. Next time. Next time. We only take the pip if it looks like we can't set up top. We don't know yet. Uh, we absolutely want to set up top with this Light's Gift. Alright, let's go for Consume Remove here, if we can. That's not Consume Remove. What are you doing, son? 30 power. Hmm, enticing. Oh, no. You know, we've, we've done enough Keeper of Echoes, as much as I love this unit. We're, we're committed to the, uh, the planet hand. But that is a hell of a unit right there. That might be my most favorite and best unit in the game, actually. It's it's overtaken Rail Beater, I think, for me. It's just like like the card that you gotta take. Go ten there, go ten there. Make one one that's already good even better. At 160, that's pretty good, but the energy siphon it basically kills everything already. I don't, I don't know that actually the extra 50 there changes too many relevant breakpoints. It definitely helps. It would be good just to have this thing have 10. I don't know that I'm putting the 30 in. Uh, if I reroll now, I should always be able to afford whatever comes out. Whereas this is pretty nice too though. I think we really want consumer move if we see it though. We get it and it's cheap. It wouldn't be horrible on this Nexus Spike, but I do think it's probably best on the Shelter. And I don't think we need to hold it over or anything. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that Consumer Move was good on, but we'll just settle with that for now. So I don't know, do I do this 30? It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. 260 kills everything without the, with the Energy Siphon or not. But it does mean I go to 80 shards. Let's do it. And we don't need any help in the stealth boss. We're good. We got a shelter that's gonna be legit. Full dire channel. No exceptions. That is not who I wanted to see. This group's alright though. Man, those big boys though. I think we're good to take this, so they should die. I have three crit builders and a nexus spike that will finish that thing off. Uh, so we go there. There. I guess we'll just do that. Okay. How much do I need to kill these things? I don't know. Let's get some shards. Ah. Hmm. 
Not exactly what I wanted to happen. But I will take it. I don't think I can take anybody out before they get to me. Forgotten Power, you're not doing uh, the things that you should be doing. I am very disappointed. So we get two Frostbite per spell. I gotta win one of these 50-50s, right? Apparently not. Apparently not. I still think I made the right call. The upside was better than the downside. That's what I'll tell myself to sleep soundly tonight, at least. Not exactly the best shit going on currently. We might be dead here. Not gonna lie, we might be fucking dead. On the scale of might be dead or not, uh, we're ranking pretty high at the moment. That guy's gonna do some damage. That much is known. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking great. Hitting those crypt builders that turn. <clears throat> not the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life, not gonna lie. I think we got it though. We just barely got it here. Boom. Worth it? I think so. I think it's worth it. It's a good it's a good ride effect. This is definitely takeable. Gosh, we need like more I, I might have to start Helven thing for bad powers, I don't know. Better than the ice storm. Revenge of the Dam, pretty good. Um Symphony of the Soul, not horrible. Pretty sure we take that. Alright, we're getting some stuff now. Nothing at the steel, but a uh, vortex is good. I don't have much money here anyway. And yeah, vortex and caverns beats a vanilla thing. Spell chain's interesting. Let's check this. Could add more frostbite, could add regen. Not really good with my uh, armor. Spikes is whatever. I think we're going to be putting this on the enemies. Hmm. Gold or Pip? Usually I would do Pip, but... I don't know how Pip really makes sense here. It only makes sense if I want to add like more Glacial Seals or more... stuff. I think I think we do the gold. This is an, this is an okay card. It's... it's okay. Do we have Merchant of Magics coming up? Like, possibly maybe this one? We do give up a Vortex, but I... I don't have like a whole lot to remove past these stewards. Um, you're hell venting, and there's some magic there. So like two, two magics, definitely one for sure. I'm just wondering, like I could spell chain like this. Then I get like forty gold when I play it. It's not good right now, but a simple cost reduction will make it pretty good. And uh, you know, that 15 plus this 15 is enough to put me to 100. We're in a ring five, which is tough, but this still keeps us below 100. I think I would take this. It's the last temple because this map is weird. Let's do it. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the ass. Alright, you're gone. I don't know who else is gone, though. I don't know who else is gone. Maybe one of the energy siphons could go. I really don't get that much use out of these, honestly. <clears throat> and obviously there's nothing to do here. I could spend money to remove another thing, but I don't think so. We'll want to keep this money. 
All right, 52 health is not great. This is not who I wanted to see. Spell shield is only affecting one of my cards. All right, two of them. Okay, three of them. Uh, that's almost enough for me not to do it. <coughs> I mean, the group is pretty easy. Uh, only one wave sucks, but... At 95 shards, pretty likely that that guy gets sharded up to 180 health, and if I don't kill him, bye bye to me. I don't think it's worth the risk. I could easily lose with a bad draw here. Uh, let's see, let's hold this for a really good turn. I can get my money... well... Yeah, I can still get my money here. I should actually... Yeah, I, I should use this in the next wave. So we won't play that. This is an example of why these suck though. Like I kinda need stuff up here. Let's get this on a better turn. Let's get the Inspire, do that. Horrible draw order, by the way, horrible. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We just do it one more time here. So that we can cash in on the actual incants and stuff. Um, uh, this is like getting to interesting territory here. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is fine. Actually should have just hit him there, that was stupid. We are gonna take shitloads of damage here because of that. Nobody saw anything. Nobody saw anything. Never happened. Alright, so, uh. Different plan here. Just gonna fucking kill that. And that. Definitely taking an Ember upgrade uh, is something I will be doing. Gosh, these are just. What decisions to make? What decisions to make? Good thing I didn't, you know, do that or anything. Okay. Hey, you were supposed to get offered. What gives? You did it last time. Exactly enough here. Uh, I think we're dying again, like somehow, it seems. So, once again, nobody saw anything. You gotta give me a mole again. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm motherfucking doing here. Dire channel. It's definitely Dyer's channel's fault. It's not the fact that I, you know, I'm at 95 shards right now with 52 power health. Not that at all. All right, this motherfucker right here is about to feel the goddamn thunder. All right, are you ready for it, bitch? Fucking take it. Alright, I gotta take one of them out. I don't think I can take one of them out. It's the same shit just gonna happen here again. I should get my dire channel hit in now. Okay, there we go. That's what I meant to do the first time. Just I don't know, there was hackers and such. Um it really made things hard. These these damn hackers. Fucking my shit up. You gotta you, 
You gotta feel me on this one. Alright, why don't you guys have a little bit of damage? Uh, maybe this freaking dead weight has to just be a bastard. Okay, um, we're gonna do here. Now, luckily, it's you know not spiked or anything, so it's like the last thing I wanted to happen. Probably still gonna die this boss after everything. So holding this for the follow-up. Come on, come on. There we go. Maybe with that dead we can do something. Hmm. Don't do it to me. Okay, that's good. We want that to happen. There we go. There we go. So easy. Jeez. Give me some challenge. Come on. This would have been the reason to take Pip, but you know what? I'm not going to complain about finding a Frenzied Swarm. That is exactly the card we want to see. I don't want any of that shit. Alright. Fracture has been less than stellar. It's starting to move up on my Vortex list here. But, uh, I needed this Merchant of Magic, so sorry. Holdover. Ooh, okay. A Lightstone casing, maybe? These are pretty bad at the moment. Yes, you now have some attack, Dire Channel. These are pretty useless. Uh, yeah, how about not? Thanks for the complete whiff, Concealed Caverns. So what are we going to hold over? Uh, honestly, a Forgotten Power, probably. Oh, no, no, what am I saying? Frenzied Swarm, easily. Boom. That is definitely happening. That needs to come down. A 10 spot there is good. Damn it. Taking it. Alright, we're going to Shardville a little bit here, but this seems very re remove consumable. Especially with that holdover frenzied swarm, which is definitely going to zero. Uh at 30 at 25 that's killing everything, so we'll do that. <clears throat> I love it. Probably could have been better on one of those crypt builders, though, honestly. Alright, you can... Eh, whatever. You know, this deep offering isn't really... It really isn't everything that it could be at the moment. Okay, they can die. Let's do this here. that, I'm sure. Here, you can have one. You can have the other. We'll go ahead and do that and that. <clears throat> so many skirt shufflers, you motherfuckers are relentless. And I'm not talking the good type. I'm not talking the, uh... Here, let's just do one there. Do that. Times five is only half. You bastard. Perhaps we should get some incants then. Uh, here, let's do. That, 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 that. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... I need to get rid of these Forgotten Powers now, actually, because this thing... No likey, these. No likey. Let's see what we can get away with here. Alright. Throw that shit away. Now I know I got the light skiff, but it's... Hear me out on this. The holdover frenzied swarm still synergizes with it because if I can't finish a tank off, I get another thing of dazed into the pyre room plus against divinity. I'm gonna want that daze against that motherfucking sweeping bastard. And I got all these offering cards that this thing can just offer up. So, long story short, it's good. It's good. Trust me on this. See, now this guy, who would have hurt me, has a daze left over and does not do 30 damage to me. It is genius level play. Twenty-four shards. I'm gonna hold that for you. You're already dead, but <clears throat> you're definitely gonna get this. Boom. Didn't really do that much damage, did it? You know what? It was enough. You are enticing. I think I'm gonna take you, which didn't really leave me a whole lot of ideas on how I'm gonna get you to cost less with no temple, so yeah, the magic there. I can get you at least a two. I don't know that I can get you to one. I mean, I probably just need to get rid of the deep offering as well. There's a lot of stuff I gotta get rid of at this point, but taking that seems good. Seems good. I might just take an amber upgrade. It's not out of the question at this point. Not out of the question. Yeah, we're just not gonna be able to get reduce enough cost on this stuff. Definitely going left. 100% going left. Could help in that. Um, could help in whatever I help in. I'm not not gonna do any shards on. Could help in that. It's less needed that when I have the holdover frenzied swarm. Could help in that. It's expensive. It serves the same purpose as this really, but it's it's if. It's playable for free, once I get my thing. Um, <clears throat> I could just help out the Nexus Spike, I guess. It's pretty good. And we'll get rid of... Forgotten... I should get rid of the Deep Offering, but the Forgotten Powers should probably get rid of first. Like they're very anti what I'm trying to do right now. Could take the Gold too, I don't think so. The rank 3 power spike, aka no power spike of rank 3 Dire Channel. Ooh, yeah, I got 40 health. It's about only, it's like 7. You go from what, 5 to 7? Doesn't mean it. It's almost like not even relevant. 5 to 7 damage per shard. I foresee us not leaking here with all the damage I have in the stack right now. Hmm. Definitely holding that. Probably 
Probably need both these here. The fuck? How are you alive? Just blasted you with like 30 of those things. You son of a bitch. Didn't I remove forgotten powers from the stick or what? Like, what the fuck? Bastards. Alright, let's do this and that. I, yeah, the deep offering is just not going to get played. What the fuck? Look how shitty Dire Channel is. Look how shitty it is. It doesn't do it as much. It's it's just the worst. It's the worst. All right, I guess we're reloading again. This is Dire Channel for you. I, I'm allowed to reload when I'm playing Dire Channel, okay? I'm not doing... Dire Channel is so bad. Still probably better than Tethys. I don't even know if that's true, to be fucking honest. To be quite fucking honest, I don't fucking know if it's fucking true, okay? That's how fucking bad this piece of goddamn motherfucking fucked up goddamn idiot is. Such a bad fucking path, holy shit. I know I'm not incanting much up there either, but... Whatever. Well, I don't think this is actually better than this, it turns out. Hmm. How about we keep that? Still want to try to greet this. The fuck? I don't understand how this Nexus spike is functioning. It's like, it's not doing it the way I thought it would, you know? It's not really like... It's just like playing a crit builder at the same time instead of actually playing two of them. And it's really fucking with my style here. This has to be enough, right? It's not enough. I have to kill this floor. I'm willing to just actually take the L. I mean, at a certain point, I just uh, should take the L, right? Like, at a certain point, just the L has to happen or something. I don't know. Right, let's do this. Holy shit. Ha! Okay, well, as long as I die, this... Glacial Seal for the win. If I, if I die to Living Armor, I'm letting it stand. Like, that... just happens, okay? Like, if that is what it wants to do, then that's what it gets to do. I don't even really. Does this even really kill it? Like, doing a horrible job of getting back to frenzied swarm here. See here, it's working how I thought it would. It's like it's like killing the. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how this thing works. I don't know that this kills it. Does it? I, I think it does. If I do this and that. Definitely gotta kill that motherfucker in the back. Uh, this. Okay, let's do this and then this. And then this and this. Look at this, I'm not even killing this fucker yet. You suck, Dire Channel. If, if this Frenzied Swarm here doesn't kill it, then I let it lay. Okay. Unfortunately, my misery continues. 60 damage taken. That is probably no good. 
then again, it could be okay to like play on the Frenzied Swarm on some turns when I don't want to play it. But why would that ever? Why would I ever not want to play it? It just doesn't happen, right? That's pretty good. We'll take that. <clears throat> it's like pseudo removal. Is it better that I remove something? Probably not. We need to cost reduction still. I need the health. I need the helmet. I'm definitely taking that. Karuska is definitely getting taken. Even though I have what, one card that uses it. Never did find the proclamation, did I? I have two cards that use it. It's good enough for me. And that's... It's definitely getting taken. Mandibles, maybe. And the others suck. We, we somehow not not actually gotten, like... Like, yeah, we got a Kareska. It's one of the world's worst Kareskas, but... Other than Light's Gift and technically this Kareska, we've had... And I guess Cheater's Hand. Artifacts haven't been great. Aha! I just had to complain, and then... There we go. Now maybe we can get something going. Don't think I'm doing that on another one, to be honest. I gotta just get rid of cards, I think. Like, what do I even want at this point? I don't need Holdover, really. Yeah, what are, what are we gonna hell then? Um, at 120 shards. It is Chase, though, and it'd be nice if he didn't have Purify. Even though you have this is debuffs, like it might be nice to keep some reap and some you know stuff on him. Do I need the mandibles? I might need that mandibles. Just thinking like removals are pretty good though. Let's start removing every forgotten power and just see where that gets us. Like whatever gold's left over is what I'm gonna work with. So 180. It's just some reductions, I would say. Pro if I reroll, I can't afford stuff, most likely. So let's just go 10 there. That's better, and... That would have been nice, damn. We'll do 10 there. So that they actually do a respectable amount. And let's get this down to 1. And that's probably going to be my hell event. This thing right here. I think. Yeah. Pretty good into chase. The other one, it would have been soul crushing guilt, would have been the other option. All right. Let's hold that for a better turn. Get ourselves some inspires. Kill that or something. I don't know. Forgot to remove that. Well, I didn't have the money to anyway. It's fine. Could play it just to get rid of it. Do I really need the Frenzied Swarm? I kind of do because this bitch removes the fucking Light's Gift. That's another thing I just forgot about. Do I do this here or here? I'm going to be greedy slash potentially correct and just do it there so I can get a shitload of shards. Probably going to need them. Probably gonna need them. Let's hold that for a better turn. That was almost a mistake. Notice how Chase isn't an asshole. Luckily, I got this. It's a, you know, we'll go ahead and pretend that that's another reason I put the hold over there is because I definitely re remembered that the light gif would get removed by Chase. Definitely was cognizant of that when I made that decision, so. Just me being a genius, nothing new. Old news. In other news, water's wet. And uh, such. Alright, we're, we're killing all this stuff, so let's go... Blast this idiot. Getting all that gold that we can use on the next shop. You know, the shop that we got next game. Oops, that was smart. And by smart, I mean it was incredibly fucking dumb. Holy 
shit. Okay, thank God. I, like I said, just making good moves left and right. Front and center. Just can't be bothered to do anything other than the best. Hmm. I guess we're doing dead weight. I don't know. Oops, I fucked that turn up already. Just standard bullshit that I do. Just the standard bullshit that I do. Oh my god, you are... an asshole. I'm not reloading anymore. If I die, I die. I can take the L. It's okay. I should have took it before. But I just didn't want to do any more Terror Channel runs. I hate this champ path. By far, of all of the paths I've done on this series so far, I hate this one. I absolutely despise it. Fucking hate it. Can't tell you how much I hate it. I, I hate it a lot. Like a whole hell of a lot. Does this actually fuck me over? I don't know. We'll see. At least we're, we're getting good frostbite here, and yeah, he removed half of it because he's an asshole. But let's let's hold. Yeah, nope, we're gonna need that for this turn. We're fucked up this turn. All right, this guy is gonna get moved back. Yeah, it's all pretty fucked up. Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. It's just too much for me to think about. Okay, one more. One more. I I've reloaded this far. I've come this far. I can't just stop reloading now, you know? What can I say? It's addicting. I get it. I fucking get it. I should just take the L. I should just take the L. Fucking hate this goddamn path. I'm using everything that sucks, and it does indeed suck. Glacial Seal, you suck. Everything else, you also suck. Alright, I'm gonna do this this time. Let's try to actually have an okay redraw. And... sure, we'll do that. Forgot I had the Karuska. Probably something I should try to remember. God, no, I can't do that. It's like just all of my most hated things. Seraph the Chased, this fucking guy. Everything. This card ended up sucking, by the way. You suck. Well, this motherfucker is gonna kill me. Or at least my energy. I think we just have to take it. Fuck. I'm not gonna play the Nexus Spike, because all it does is hurt me. The world's worst Nexus Spike, by the way. Definitely the world's worst Nexus Spike. Alright, let's go like this, and then like that, and then like that. Isn't, isn't this the group that killed me before? I think it's not. But that guy hurt me for more, I think, than last time. You just are such an asshole, Chase. You're, an a you're just a fucking asshole. Can't even begin to explain to you how much of an asshole you are, but you definitely are one. And it's probably better, and then we'll do that, and that, and that. It's the group that fucked me up last time. Okay, so you can have. That, that, I 
guess we just do this because this fucking thing sucks. It's like <laughs> the pushback is absolutely not a help to me. It's turns out Rail Beater old version does suck. The old version does suck. Still do this. Am I dead? Oh, how I wish I was. Because, well, let's just be honest, I'd probably just keep reloading because I'm a, a, an asshole like that. I would just keep doing it. I, I'm apparently just the worst today. I'm really sick. You gotta give me. You gotta give me a sympathy vote or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Josh. Josh. I meant to say, you know, Josh. Yeah. Wouldn't say gosh or anything like that, but Josh, definitely what I meant to say. Good old Josh. You can't underestimate Josh. Uh, I don't really want to throw any of this back. I definitely want to f daze the shit out of that. Let let's do this, I guess. I don't know. Alright, let's put you first. Here, you can have your damage shield destroyed. Get that big Nexus spike, because it definitely, you know, is really good against bosses. Hold the good shit. Here, you need to die. <clears throat> and you need to have some damage placed upon ye. You fucker. You fucker. Two da it's two spell shield, yes. Let's give you two spell shield. Why not? Why not? Why not just sort of do that? We gotta get this floor going. Tim T. Bowen. Oh yeah, by the way, Cleansing Water, thanks for, you know, I guess you worked once here, so cool. You're good, you're good, artifacts. You're good. Don't let anyone, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's not you, it's them. I am worried about basically everything here. As you can see, we're not really doing anything, so there is that. Good thing you got spell shield. I believe we don't need this at the moment. So let's get do our usual deep offering shenanigans here. And ooh, maybe this is better there, huh? Probably should just do that there. gonna throw you back. Did you did you really have to be the boss that came in here? Did you did it have to be you? God, we are fucked right here, aren't we? Maybe I shouldn't have thrown away that thing. Like I definitely shouldn't have. Uh god. Of course I'll reload it. Why not? Why not? got to show you how beatable uh, Dire Channel is. It's, it's OP. Can't be fucking beaten. Actually, just going to keep throwing this back. There we go. Big brain time. Do that, sure. Just keep throwing it back. Though I suppose this would be an okay turn to uh, use it. We throw it back when we get the deep offering. How about that? Why did you get cleansing watered this time? I don't understand you. 
I don't understand you. Oh, whatever. Here's Wonderwall. Okay, now is the turn we do this bullshit. Uh, still gonna do this. Because fuck that fucking balanced floor. The most balanced there is. Get rid of both of these. And then... I will... Proceed to do this. Son of a bitch. Alright, you can have one. But I probably... will put one there. Hit me once, it's okay. I think the mini boss will kill us if this doesn't. Well, we can, uh, we can do that. I guess this will die. Probably should, like... Man, which... <laughs> take your, pick your poison, which one's gonna kill me, right? Uh, this could be... I think I have, like... All these Nexus spikes coming up should be, like, good and stuff, right? To take that floor out. This is not great. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm just conceding. I actually had, like, if it didn't push them all back like that, I actually had, like, a chance there, but... Ah, uh, do I really want to fucking concede again? I really don't. Or, I mean, do I really want to reload, I should say, because, like, there's certainly a, a path that gets me there, but I don't actually have the stomach. This was a loss anyway. I don't deserve the win, and neither does the hair channel. This proves it. I played flawlessly, clearly. Can't win. Dire channel's horrible, man. I mean, what is it even... It, it's like... It has so much anti-synergy with the fucking crit builder. It's like... <laughs> It pushes shit out, so now I'm putting 72 times however much damage into what? Like, one of these fucking low health guys? Like, I mean, I get, I guess I owe it to just fucking win. I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah, I guess I have to think about the game. Is that Dire Channel's fault? It is. It is. Let's be honest, it is. So... I mean... It is Dire Channel's fault, alright? It is. And this card... Remind me the next time I play Dire Channel, which is never... Remind me to, uh, you know... Not use it. Okay, you have Spell Shield again. Why? Why do you have to be the way that you are? Should 
just take out these fucking groups. Definitely gotta like put all the effort in there. I'm basically just not even gonna focus on this floor. Because there's no fucking point in it. Although I guess I kind of have to, don't I? Um, pushing that guy all the way to the back, sure, why not? Alright, this is where we'll use this. Whoops. Should I energy siphon here? I don't think so. It's just anno it's annoying because like all of the beaten path champs have generally situations where they shine, but Dire Channel just doesn't have a situation where it shines. It just sucks. It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. Can't even begin to explain to you how bad this fucking champ is. I mean, nine. I think we have to, uh. Eh. Fuck, I don't know. Like. Uh, this is best played here. I guess we take this for the next turn, so... Like, even, like, shouldn't this be a situation where Dire Channel should just wreck in? You got one enemy on the floor. One enemy. And, uh, you know... I didn't incant that much here, but I do have the double incant, which means had I not had it, you could imagine I did a, without founding seal a lot of incants here, right? 38 incants. Yet it doesn't even die. I mean, it'll be fine here because it's dazed, but like, this thing is so bad. I mean, at 38 shards, 38 by 7 is what? That's barely more than Titan Channel is doing at 15 shards. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And it actually makes me mad how bad it is. I legitimately am mad that it sucks so much. But I don't know what we do here. So let's... If I go... I don't know. I kind of want to... Like, I have to survive this, so... But then I just die to the next wave, like... Hmm. I technically don't die to it. Um... I, mean, I pretty much die to it. <laughs> I definitely die to it. Fuck. Ay, ay, ay. I think I live this. This is miserable. For the love of God, tell me this wins. I don't think it will. Ain't looking good. <sighs> I 
That's it. I'm done. No more. No more popcorn. If that can't do anything, nothing. Like, like just fuck this fucking path. I don't care. I do care, actually, a lot. Like... Dire chin I take every... You know... It's like, do I stand by my statement that I would take Dire Channel over Tethys? The fucked up thing is, I still stand by it. The Tethys is worse. Like, Conduit excluded, right? As little as I got out of Dire Channel there, I get less out of the other variants of Tethys. I'm quite certain of it. I don't know though, there's technically situations where I can get Spell Weakness Tethys to do great things for me. I can't get Dire Channel to do great things for me, it's so fucking bad. I can't believe I gave this... I had to be contrarian and give this damn path a D tier rating instead of the F tier that it deserved. Just because simply I did think maybe it's better than... Tethys, non conduit Tethys. But I don't know. That's pathetic. Now, yes, yes, let's get real here for a minute. I could have played better. But that doesn't matter. I played about how I play, right? About how I play when I'm not at the top of my game, which is to say I can still win most runs, especially if I'm going to reload 50 fucking times. This motherfucker here. Provided me nothing. Nothing. As shit health, it takes up two pip. Provides no utility. There's no ceiling. There's no ceiling. Like, you can't add multi strike, you can't add trample. You can't make it sweep, you can't have it lifesteal, you can't, uh. You just can't do anything with it. You know, I can, I, can, I can have a run. I can have a crazy explosive sentient run where I actually clear most of the floor with explosive sentient. We didn't really see it the last time we did it, but yet it was still like a good path, right? In the situation that it's good in. There's no situation where this is good. This path sucks. So bad. I don't suck. This path sucks, okay? I'm not the one that sucks. Michael Bolton is one that sucks. He's a pretty good singer, though. He got a he got an unfair shake in Office Space. But it doesn't change the fact that Dire Channel. It sucks. I mean, you know what also sucks is this Nexus spike. To be fair, to be fair, this thing did me no favors. It was like the enemy's greatest tool against me. If I could ever not do that again, I would. If I could go back in time and never do it, I would. This card was in the deck, apparently. I think I saw it once in that whole fight at the end, it seemed. Maybe I saw it twice. Could have used it at the end. We probably would have won if I had it at the end, but, you know... Probably should have just frenzy swarmed the bottom and then I probably win, but again that was reload number what seven on the run Just let the loss happen. I, I should have been dead like here, but You know It's horrible It's horrible Now I'm sure I'll generate this challenge and somebody's gonna beat it. I know it. I know it so I'll do it you can show me how good Dire Channel is, and I will not believe you. But I'll see that you win. I'll see that you win, and I'll, I'll tip my hat to you. But I tell you, I'm telling you, this fucking champ path is so ass. Like, it's such a joke. Like, I mean, why? It's never been good. It's not one of those where it was like, oh, you know, pre-DLC it was alright. You know, like the Tethys Paths. It never has been good. 
It's been shit the entire fucking game's lifespan. Titan Channel is just a better all around version of Dire Channel. Objectively better. There's. You have to be so facetious to try to outline me a situation where Dire Channel is better than Titan Channel. Like, it just doesn't exist. Look at this thing. 210, 210 at 15. You're telling me there's a situation where this 40 health dude, the 7 damage per shard, that can't, you know, do anything other, uh, you know, doesn't gain anything from Mark of the Champion or whatever. Whereas this gains a huge amount from that. You can't get multi strike, can't get trample, can't get fucking lifesteal. I guess you could flex the two. That's the best I can give it, is you can abort Dire Channel and take a real path. And make it half as shitty. But at every step of the way, Titan Channel is better. Every step of the way. Even step two, which shouldn't be the case, because step two of Titan Channel is the bad step, right? But yeah, every every step along the way, you gain a f you know only you start with three. It's one of the only paths in the game where the first like stat line is better than every additional stat line. Like I gained three from the first line, and then I only gained two at every other rank, two per shard. Like it could at least give me three. It would still suck. It wouldn't even suck that much less, but. It's just like the salt in the wound that uh, you know only gains two per shard, and a measly ten and then twenty health. Meanwhile, forty-five, forty-five already destroying dire. Ch like, compare the first rank and it's a joke. Four stacks. I'm doing forty-five, forty-five. I get around Ember Train versus a ten health joke, and even here. You know, 10 stacks. Yeah, in a bad deck, I might leak a wave, but I'll leak everything with fucking Dire Channel. Hell, I would take a rank 2 Dire Channel flat out than a, a rank 3 Dire... or a rank, a rank 2 Titan Channel over a rank 3 tight Tire Channel. I mean, I'm 90 damage. I mean, 7 times what? 7 times... 10... Um, even the rank 3 Dire Channel doesn't match the rank 2 Titan Channel. At seven, at ten stacks, I'm doing seventy damage, and I have forty health, and I didn't get around Ember Drain. Or I could have ninety damage, ninety health, and get around Ember Drain. You tell me which one's better. This fucking joke of a god pat joke channel. It's jo it's joke channel, dire channel because it makes every situation dire. The best thing I can say about it is I. I would have been better off just never playing it. Just playing like two. I could have just played two of those shard. Uh, Shard Soul Carver's top. Took a pip upgrade, call it good. That would have been an incredible deck. Two multi striking Shard, uh, Shard Soul Carvers up top would have been so much better than trying to make Dire Channel work on that floor. That Dire Channel is a sad, sad, pathetic loser. A loser. And Cold Channel at least is different and good. Cold Channel is a good path. I might even bump it to A. This run would have been easy with the cold channel. Easy. I would have destroyed this run. Um gosh, what more can I say about Dire Channel? Hell, probably Reaper is better. I mean it is. I could definitely do more with this thing. I can add a one horn tome to it. I can add trample to it. It does more damage anyway, with no real help needed. And this path sucks. We haven't even gotten to this one yet. It sucks. I technically did it in one of the curse seeds, but we're gonna do it proper. And it sucks, but boy, you know what? I, I take it I take it back, Tethys. I, I won't take Dire Channel over you. I won't. And Dire Channel, you're F. You're not D. You're F. You're still F, Tethys, but... Equal ground. Equal ground with Dire Channel. Oh, Dire Channel. I forgot how bad you are. I'm reminded. I'm reminded. 
a lot of time in the day left. I can keep talking about how much I hate this path. I hate it. Things I'd rather do than play Dire Channel. Have a root canal. Be waterboarded. Have my gums scraped. All more pleasurable and enjoyable experiences than having to play Dire Channel on your floor and make this piece of shit try to work. I'd rather play Glug Slider. I would. Glug Slider can do more than Dire Channel. And it has. We've seen it. It actually killed a boss. What has Dire Channel ever done? Other than waste space on the floor and waste a card in your deck. Waste a priority draw turn one. I'm telling you, Dire Channel would be better off if it just said, remove the card from the deck. That'd be infinitely better than what it currently is. It just said, remove this card from your deck. I'd take it. Well, I wouldn't take it over these paths, but I might take it over Tethys. I would definitely take it over the current Dire Channel. Absolutely. That's not a joke. I would definitely take it over that if it just said remove the card from the deck. Like, if you were only uh, offered one path instead of the two at the start of the game, and Dire Channel was... I mean, I guess if you're only offered one path, you have to take the path. But I'd be much more happy if the text, instead of reading, you know, incant gain you know, 0 0.75 damage or whatever it has. Uh, if it just said, remove card from the deck, it's okay. That's okay. I can work with that. Anyway, that is Dire Channel. I, I wouldn't recommend it. I really wouldn't. Unless you're a masochist. Even then, it's iffy. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.